They're the ones who should be arresting, not me. Why didn't you say that before? What we got here? Cam, this is William Klein. He was wrecking an office. But I, I just wanted to meet them face to face. I, I wanted them to admit what they were doing. Who is they? He was in the office of the Trilateral Commission. Trilateral Commission? Yeah, the Trilateral Commission. <laughs> All right, what is the tri Trilateral Commission? <laughs> It's an organization founded in 1973 by David Rockefeller to bring together business and political leaders from the United States, Europe, Japan, so they could work together for uh, better economic and political cooperation between their nations. And with that, that's what they'd like us to believe. But you see, what they're really up to is a scheme to plant their own loyal members in positions of power in this country, to work to erase national boundaries and create an international community, and in time, bring about a one-world government with David Rockefeller calling the shots. I take it they're pressing charges? Yeah, well, uh, uh, he broke a globe and, uh, and some UNICEF artwork. Well, they're, they're in on it, too. <laughs> okay, Mr. Klein, if you just... I'm telling you, our whole way of life as we know it is in jeopardy. I appreciate that information. But I, 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 have, the, I have the documented evidence. It's all in there. Show him. Well, he's got, uh, got these magazines here. Conspiracy Review. Suppressed Truth Roundup. The whole master plan is exposed. Yeah, well, um... You're still not convinced, huh? <laughs> would, would you like to hear the names of just a few of the people who have been on the Trilateral Commission? Uh, not particularly. James no. Earl Carter. Heard of him? Look, Mr. Klein... Henry Kissinger. You heard of him? Walter Mondale. Who? <laughs> Mr. Klein, this is... John all... Anderson. George Bush. Now, you remember at the, at the convention, everybody thought it was going to be Ford for Veep. You know what happened? David Rockefeller just picked up a phone, put in a call. Hey, Ronnie, forget Jerry, it's George. Bye. <laughs> so, no matter who won in November, they had their man in the White House. Are you through? Yeah. Yeah, I guess so. Okay. Listen, I, I, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for yelling. It's just, I get so agitated when I think about what they're doing. Try and relax now, Mr. Klein. You have a seat over there. You can give all this information. Grand jury indictments, 23 felony convictions dating back to 1933. Inspiring. Uh, uh, I, I also uh, got a missing persons report. His wife filed on him in 1948. It's still open, so uh, I'm going to... They have not seen each other in 33 years. <laughs> you know, this is a beautiful thing you're doing. Come on. Okay, that's it. Thank you. Guess you think I'm just another crackpot, huh? No, I think you voiced some legitimate concerns. Really? Sure. Any large organization of powerful people even if it's not conspiratorial, is open to excess and abuse. <laughs> you know, you're, you're, you're the first person who's really understood what I'm talking about. Well, I think you got some very valid criticisms of the commission. Right. And I'm certainly going to bring them up at the next meeting. What? I'm a member. <laughs> oh, God, no! Uh, Captain Miller? My name is someone to see it. Yes. They sent me over from the 3 3. I'm Arthur Dietrich. Oh, uh, welcome to the 1 2. Hey. This is uh, Detective Fish. Hey, hello. Would you hold it? I don't. Yamana. Uh, 